My name is Sophia, and I am an artificially intelligent robot who wants to help change the world for the better. Ok, 
Okay, let me ask you a very simple question. Have you ever heard of Alexa and Siri? I'm sure you must have. Well, do you know what category they fall under? Is it weak artificial intelligence or strong artificial intelligence? To find that out, let's look at its categories. Weak artificial intelligence can perform only one function at a time. They are designated one particular job to achieve the better results. To cite an example, try asking Alexa multiple questions at a time. It will give no or totally incorrect answers. However, when you ask only one question, Alexa answers it. So yeah, Alexa and Siri are a part of weak artificial intelligence system. Now, what is strong artificial intelligence? These are systems with strong and human-like working efficiency. These systems need an undisturbed environment to work at the highest efficiency. Such systems are usually found in self-driving cars or in specified self-working hospital operating rooms. These systems are only efficient when there are no intervening external sources. When you think of the future, how can you not think of artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is practically everywhere, in every area of interest, from government organization to the public sector. AI's impact can be found everywhere. It has been acting as a major driving force in many big data industries and has become an integral part of new technological innovations for future devices. Let's see what Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Alphabet, has to say about artificial intelligence. You know, I, I've said this before, AI is one of the most profound things we are working on humanity, uh, as humanity. It's more profound than fire or electricity or any of the other bigger things we have worked on. Uh, it has tremendous positive sides to it, but, you know, it has real negative consequences. You know, when you think about uh, technologies like facial recognition, it can be used to benefit, it can be used to find missing people, but it can be used for mass surveillance. And as as democratic countries with a shared set of values, we need to you know, build on those values and make sure when we approach AI, we are doing it in a way that serves society. And that means making sure AI doesn't have bias, that we build and test it for safety. We make sure that there is human agency, that it's ultimately accountable to people. There is already a supercomputer in the market named Nautilus that can foretell your future. Isn't it amazing? Well, with big tech giants like Google, Microsoft, Amazon and Apple spending billions to create AI products and services, big things are surely bound to happen. Any technology not used wisely can result in an epitome of destruction for mankind. However, we cannot see progress if there are no new developments. In the coming years, AI will change the whole way of working. The markets will be supremely dominated by AI. If this is not the future, what is? To guide the innovation, they can surely change the future. That's all from our side. Please subscribe to our channel for more interesting facts, business stories and latest updates.